In teaching quality technique in butterfly, we ask the swimmers to emulate the fast undulating technique of the dolphin, one of our very efficient sea creatures. You'll notice a nice stable upper body position with that fast undulating lower body position with a technique driven by the nose or from the nose. The dolphin's underwater swimming action becomes very important for us mortals trying to learn butterfly technique. We don't possess the same efficiencies in terms of dolphins within our human body. But butterfly is a double arm stroke with a long entry out in front, with the hands entering at shoulder width, high hip position, two kicks per arm stroke, and a nice stable hip position. Kicking in butterfly should be learnt with aids and without aids, both fins and kickboards, on a 50% basis. Whatever is taught using aids should be learnt without using aids. It is my opinion that butterfly kick should progress in reverse to the other strokes by learning and developing butterfly kicking skills initially without a board. After this has been achieved, a combination of kick with and without a board is most beneficial. The addition of the kickboard will tend to stabilise the upper body movement and render the lower body movement more productive for the young butterfly swimmer. It can be said that every child learns butterfly kick very easily. It's the one stroke aspect that everybody succeeds in learning. Most do it naturally with a minimum of instruction. However, the timing of the arms, breathing and kick can cause learning difficulties. Due to this, I choose to work on teaching the arms and breathing over short distances, first as a priority, and then include kick later on. Kicking without a board in butterfly can be done side lateral, both sides, underwater and on the surface. And here we see very, very good underwater dolphin kicking. Nice stable upper body, fast undulating leg move, the fins pointing to the roof of the pool and then the bottom of the pool. You can do it with your hands apart, looking for a high wrist position, stable hips and fast, quick underwater kicking. It can be done in a crossover dolphin kick position with the hands one on top of the other, push down the back, chin back, and this will lift a high hip position in the water. It can be done with arms folded. This, of course, is much more difficult. It means that the swimmer has to be able to do this kick without using the arms as levers out in front to drive their body through the water. It can be done against the bottom of the pool to force the athlete to keep their upper body very still. You can see this here in an underwater shot of the swimmer doing dolphin kick with the arms folded keeping a stable upper body position. Here's an ideal or perfect example. Knees under the water, high hip, no upper body movement and a nice square shoulder position in the water. An ideal position for butterfly and then of course the torpedo kick on the back. This also is a very very good position for learning butterfly but you have to watch the knees coming out of the water and this is a common fault. The shoulders initiate the recovery in butterfly and you want a nice straight arm and elbow on the first half of the recovery and you want the hands relaxed. You want a long hand entry with a no splash entry and you want a flat back position as the hands enter the water. To establish this flat back position, much time must be spent on kicking and quality kicking. Here we see vertical dolphin kick with the arms torpedoed up in front where the athletes have to keep a very, very good straight body position. All of these different skills should be practiced and varied and it's quite easy for the young athlete to develop very good skills in butterfly at a young age. To prevent the hand first and the dropped elbow recovery or the thumb first recovery in butterfly, I find that dolphin kick on the back with a straight arm, double arm backstroke with a dolphin kick to be ideal in correcting most faults in bent arm butterfly. Swimmers can learn this initially with a freestyle kick. This is also very good for backstroke, learning the 11 o'clock and 1 o'clock entry. After learning it with freestyle kick, it can then be developed into dolphin kick. 
I find this drill to be ideal in, in developing good backstroke, but also very or good in developing ideal skills in butterfly. A simple drill to then develop good timing of the breath is the dolphin drill or the beyondy drill. And in young children, this is taught with the hands pushing out to the side and lifting high out of the water as the athlete comes up to breathe. However, it's important that when teaching this drill that the athlete understands or the pupil understands that the chin should be kept on the water when taking a breath and you should try and drop your head through the same hole in the water. And here you see this athlete keeping the chin on the surface, a quick breath at the back of their stroke. Remember you kick in and kick out of your stroke in butterfly and the breath is taken after the hands pass the belly button under the body with a slight forward lift of the chin and with the minimum lift of the shoulders. The recovery in butterfly is initiated from a shoulder lead recovery and the arms are thrown straight over in a low efficient ballistic swing working on those fast kicks underwater, six kicks underwater then one arm stroke. This is beyond the plus one drill and this is probably a drill limited to learn to swim people. I would not suggest that this drill is taken any further than this initial beyond the drill and beyond the plus one. To assist in the timing of the breath, one arm fly can be learnt. Also it's a good way of teaching side breathing for those that you wish to learn side breathing. In learning quality butterfly technique, I have found that it's best to teach arms only first over short distances. Once you've learned arms only first over a short distance, and the swimmer has practiced several of the positions in butterfly kick from crossover to arms folded to a torpedo, a progression is put together which should prevent the athlete from learning a thumb first recovery with a bent elbow. In other words, the butterfly will be learnt with a little finger exit the water first, a high elbow straight arm recovery with the sockets of the elbow facing the water on the above water recovery. To do this, the progression starts with a 25 metres butterfly kick and a back torpedo, knees under the water, fins pointing to the roof. It's followed by 25 metres of fly kick on the front torpedo chin on the chest looking at the bottom and the fins pointing to the bottom on the downward kick. Remember the butterfly kick must be downwards and backwards whether you're on your front or on your back. 25 metres of fly kick the arms folded in front. The athlete must kick much much harder in this arms folded position. The fourth repeat is 25 metres underwater dolphin but only doing two arms to initiate the first 25 metres and two arms to finish the 25 metres. That's four strokes in 25 metres. Two at the start and two at the finish of the 25 metres. But two perfect arms done exactly the way that you want them to do be done. This is followed by repeat number five which is a 25 metres of all fly kick torpedo with skull. This is now bringing that initial feel of the front of the stroke into that 25 metres fly kick torpedo. Number six is 25 metres underwater dolphin with three arms to start and finish the 25 metres with and kick in between. That's 25 metres starting with three arms, dolphin torpedo kick and then three arms to finish. This progresses to slowly build on the eighth repeat after the kick only on the seventh repeat we add four arms to start and four arms to finish with dolphin front torpedo in between. The ninth one is 25 all fly kick on the back arms folded and the tenth one is doing all fly counting their strokes. Obviously we're trying to get the swimmers to do 25 meters in about 10 or 12 strokes with perfect technique. Each of these 10 25s alternates with kick only on the odd numbers and torpedo front kick with increasing fly strokes on the even numbered ones. I find this an ideal progression 
for developing quality control and quality technique in butterflying. Here we see dolphin kick in a torpedo position on their back, then 25 meters fly kick on their front. By doing and reversing the fly kick from back to front, I think this develops a much better strength and skill in the fly. Then you do arms folded, fly kick on the front, which is much harder. An underwater dolphin, or it can be done on the surface, and start with two strokes and then finish with two strokes. So the athlete will only do two strokes at the start and two strokes at the finish. Crossover kick can then be added. This promotes a high hip position and a good head position and a stable upper body. Then the next progression is three arm strokes at the front and at the end of the 25 metre swim and normal torpedo dolphin kick in between. It's important to make sure that both arms come over symmetrical, that is together. Torpedo kick with skull underwater is the next progression, promoting a high wrist, long arm position out in front. And of course then it's developed into four dolphin strokes, four butterfly strokes at the start and four butterfly strokes at the finish of the 25, with a little dolphin kick torpedo dolphin kick separating those two four strokes. This of course slowly introduces the arms into the progression of learning great kicking and body skills and the timing of the breath. Finally concluding at number 10 with 25 meters of all butterfly. Butterfly is an easy stroke to learn. 